Hello, today we're gonna to be unboxing and showing the uh, T180 charger here for the first time users, showing you how to set it up and how to connect it to your battery. And if you found the video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll be posting new videos every week. All right, so this is the uh, box for the T180. Uh, if we turn over to the side, you can read some of the features that the charger has. So it has a uh, touch screen, 100 watt output, graphical display, intelligence and maintenance functions, and a digital power supply. And it has all the specifications and all the different connectors over here as well. So let's open it up. So right away we see the actual charger here. Let's put that up. There we go. And then we also have these two cardboard containers, uh, alligator clips, another way to power the charger. We have the balance board and the octopus cables. So all the different connectors that you may need for your charging. And we have over here the stylus and the power supply cable. Right. It's got everything out. Let's power it up. All right, so we got everything set up here. Uh, first things first, we got to power on the T180 charger. There's two different ways to power it on uh, with these two different cords. Uh, the AC cord and um, the cord with the alligator clips. We're not going to be using this today. Set that aside and plug this into the AC input port on the side. So plug that in and then just plug this in to any wall outlet. That should power on. I'm gonna use a stylus here. Um, so we're also gonna plug in the different uh, connectors over here that we may need later. Uh, so take your octopus cable, plug the red into the red, and the black into the black there. And then also for the uh, balance board, plug that in to this port here, just like that. OK. And then the uh, main menu here, right away when it powers up, you're going to see the different options for the charging, discharging. So for the lithium ion, we have uh, charging, discharging, and storage. And we also have lithium iron phosphate, lithium high voltage, nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium, lead acid battery. And this option here is to turn your charger into a DC power supply. Uh, any settings you may want to change, the view balance option. And the uh, memo option is for the loading and saving your data and your LiPo batteries. All right, so that's all for the function of this charger on the display menu. So let's set it up now. Going back to the main menu here, let's go over to setup right here. Click on setup. So in the setup here, we have all sorts of different things we can change. Uh, we have the uh, temperature mode. So if you ever want to change any of these things, you can just click on it right there. Right now, it's uh, the units are set to Celsius. If you want to change that to Fahrenheit, just click uh, the up or down arrow, click enter. And then from now on, it'll show uh, your temperature in Fahrenheit. Uh, there's also the temperature cutoff, safety timer. You can change that if you want to. Go down to the next page. Um, for your display, you can change the uh, the brightness of the backlight. You can change. Uh, you can turn on and off the sound. If you want to change that. Or uh, there's also an option for the factory reset here. All right. So now we're going to get into some of the common questions we have from our users. So the first question we have, uh, what is the micro USB port for? Can I retrieve information and control the charge via USB? 
So the micro USB port right on the side here. Uh, we don't have any software for it. It's just for firmware updates. So we can't um, use it for any, we can't use it to control the charger at all, just for firmware updates. Next question, does it come with temperature sensor? Where can I get one? So the temperature sensor port is right on the side here next to the micro USB. Um, it doesn't come with the temperature sensor, but we'll put a link in the description of where you can get one. So next question we have, will the charger tell you when it's fully charged and will it automatically stop charging? Can I leave the battery charging on the charger? The charger will let you know when it's fully charged. It'll play a, like a ringtone, a high-pitched ringtone when it's fully charged. And although you can leave it in um, when it's fully charged, we do recommend users to unplug it as soon as it is fully charged just to for better maintenance for the battery. All right, next common question we get for this, uh, can I charge more than one battery at the same time? This uh, charger is only designed for one, char uh, one battery at a time, so you can only charge one at a time. And the last question we got, my screen is froze, how can I reset it? So the most, uh, the easiest way to do that is just to um, unplug it here and replug it in. That usually fixes it. If this problem keeps reoccurring, it's likely a defective unit. So you can reach out to the Tenergy support team and we can help you out from there. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please comment down below and we'll be there to answer any questions you have. And I'll see you next week.